Good morning. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the sea bass and scup rig. Uh, this is what I normally use when I go on charter boats or when I'm fishing uh, for my kayak. I'm going to be showing you in detail everything that you're going to need. And uh, let's, let's show you what the rig looks like. This is what the rig looks like. Swivels, the high and low. And um, this is what the sinkers are going to go where I got my finger. Okay. So let's go over all the stuff that you're going to need. Okay. Um, I use three types of fluorocarbon. It all depends uh, which one they have in stock. Uh, but these are the main fluorocarbons uh, leaders that I use. This is one of them and they're all 50 pound tests. This is the second one. And this is the third one. All 50 pound tests, uh, fluorocarbon uh, leader material. Also, uh, I use the uh, Gawamato octopus hook uh, size 2 and it's uh, stock number 02412-25 okay this is the finished product right here and uh, and the craft bag the reason why I put it in this craft bag is because I don't want my line to be tangled uh, when I'm when I'm looking to get a rig Um, this is the uh, the swivel that I use. It's uh, it's a tsunami size eight, 143 pound test uh, uh, swivel. The reason why uh, it's uh, so high is because uh, I catch a lot of stripers, I catch uh, sharks, I catch a little bit of everything, and um, just so I don't have any problems with my rig, this is what I use. I also uh, have, uh, I'm going to be using beads, there's different types of beads in here, different sizes. I got this from Amazon. You're going to need a safety pin, and I'll show you later on why you're going to need that. And you're going to need reusable re, uh, uh, bags. Um, these I got these from uh, Walmart. And once again, it looks like this. Okay, I also uh, made my own kit with all different beads, um, all different sizes, different colors. Uh, I have the uh, swivels here, the hooks, um, some flashers, a little bit of everything. All right. Also, you're gonna need a, a ruler. I got a, I'm using right now a, a yard stick because uh, I use all different types of uh, uh, rigs. So this is what I use at home. But if you don't have a yard stick, you could use a, a ruler. And you're gonna need the scissors. Okay, all right, let's begin. So you're gonna need five feet of uh, fluorocarbon. And, um, that's like the length of your one, one length of your arm to the other end, pulling. So, just like that. So five feet. All right. So we're gonna count it. Now, the first tag, the first end, you want to measure ten inches. So from here. to here 10 inches so now what you're going to do is you're going to pinch it and from that point you're going to make a loop 6 inch loop so you're going to measure from where you have it pinched to 6 inch right there alright so that's 6 inch so now what you're going to do is you're going to put this end in your mouth and then you're going to turn, wrap the line six times. I'll show you. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six. Now you spread that hole and you take that big loop and you're going to put it in through that little hole. Just like that. Then you're going to pull it and you're going to tighten it slowly. Now you're going to wet it so you don't burn the line and cinch it. Alright, so that's our first loop. Now from this loop to the next loop, we're going to do 12 inches. So from here, from the first loop to the second loop is going to do is going to be 12 inches. So now I'm going to pinch it, mark where I got it, and I'm going to do another loop for 6 inches again. So 6 inches right there. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to put this in your mouth and wrap the line six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You spread it and then you're going to put the big loop into that little hole you got there and now you're going to pull the whole thing out. Then tighten it slowly. Now wet it so you don't burn the line. And now you got two loops there. So now you're going to take one end, it doesn't matter which one, and you're going to take a swivel. And you're going to put it in through the, through the line. Now you're going to find the loop that you just made right here, the first one. And you're going to measure from here to the swivel, it's going to be four and a half inches. So right here, and hold the swivel so it don't slide back. So with the swivel to the first loop is going to be four and a half inches. So now that you got that marking, you're going to bend the line so you don't lose your, your, your position. And now what you're going to do is you're going to wrap this four times. All right, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, and now see the four or five and then you're gonna put the tag into that little loop there where the swivel is and then that tag you're gonna put it in through that hole there and now you're gonna pull it pull 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 and now this is where the safety pin comes into place you're gonna grab your safety pin you're gonna put it to the other end of the uh, swivel so now you're gonna you got like a little handle there to pull you're gonna wet the line And now you're gonna pull. Also pull the tag so it's nice and snug. Now take the safety pin out. And you're gonna cut the uh, excessive line. So now your swivel's all set. Now what you're gonna do is, I'll just take this out of here. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the uh, one end of the loop, the top end, as close as you can. So now you got one straight line. So now you're gonna grab a bead, a glow bead, you're gonna put it in. Okay. You're gonna take one of the hooks. Now, I normally like to put the hook on my left hand and feed the uh, line so the pointy part of the hook has got to be facing towards your right so you feed the line in there you go now you're going to make just a regular knot don't tighten it because you're going to need to adjust it all right so now see if it's a loose knot regular knot nothing special so now from where that knot is to where the end of the uh of the main line is you want to measure six inches so right there we got five so we got to move that that knot a little backwards so so measure the six inches so right there we have the six inches so now that we have the six inches now this this knot we want to make it tight so i'm just going to pull my pull my mouth all right so i just made it nice and tight so now the trick to this all right so just cut the excessive tag off. Alright. 
So you got your knot there. All right. So this is the whole trick to this. So you're gonna bring your left hand like close to your right hand, and it's gonna and the loop is gonna want to make a big loop or a circle. Once you do that, you're gonna take it and you're gonna put the hook inside that loop. And then you're going to pull tight, tight, tight. And there you go. That's your first... That's your first hook setup. Alright, so now the second loop, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut as close to the top as possible. Alright. We're going to get a bead. We're going to insert it in the line. We're gonna grab another hook and put it on my right hand. The line is on my left. I mean on my right. And the hook is on my left. So it's, I'm gonna insert the uh, the line right into the hook. And now I've got the hook in there. I'm gonna make a regular knot. Don't tighten it so because you might have to move it for a further adjustment. Right, so we got to measure six inches. So right there is dead on six inches. So now that I know six inches, now this knot, I'm going to tighten it. All right, so that's nice and tight. Now I'm going to cut the excessive uh, tag off. So now I'm going to bring both my hands close together, and and the line's going to want to make a a loop. Once it makes that loop, you put it over the hook and pull alright so now I have, we have two of our uh, the two hooks, the high and low already set and now the remaining we want to measure from where that hook is seven inches so from here to here, seven inches. So from there to there, you're gonna mark it. You're gonna do. You're gonna do just a regular, regular loop, and we're gonna do like an overhead knot. Nothing special. Just an overhead knot. This is where the sinker is gonna go. And you just pull tight, 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 and just a regular knot. And I just made a loop for the sinker. Now I just cut the excessive, tag off. And there you have it, the sea bass and scup rig. Okay. So now the last step that I do is I just, so it don't get tangled when I'm going to use it, I like to just uh, fold it nice and neatly. And then I'm going to put it in a cross bag. Of the air out and there you have it this is my uh, sea bass and scup rig okay um, thank you for watching uh, make sure you hit subscribe and don't forget to hit like thank you